Alrighty, so I have to say, <laughs> this week has kind of, I mean, it's not like tanked it too hard, but my, my geared rank is definitely down from using like experimental Sabnak teams. Uh, the last video that I did in geared was me trying to go first. If you've seen that video, it's already up on the channel. Uh, it did not go so well. We just got really, really terrible luck when we were trying to do that. So um, I'm going to try using Sabnax Grace on Escanor because people, I think I've seen people say that it's really good on him and it's really good on Mael. And I think the reason for those two specifically is because he, they can't be stat lowered. But the good thing about Sabnak having basically the same Grace as Roxy, which I think is pretty lame, first of all. Like, why would I, we have three Graces in the game now? And two of them are extremely similar, which doesn't make any sense. Like, you have Tears, which is crit defense, and then you have Roxy's, which is attack-related stats for humans only. You know, so I understand this one is way more broad and everything. But Sabnax goes to 13%, which I only have her 4-6, so mine's 11%. And it does lower defense-related stats by 5%. So, it, I mean, it's got its drawbacks a little, but at the same time, it's just kind of bizarre to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why? Like, we have so few. Like, all of the graces. Okay, well, that's fair, I guess. Um, all of the graces that we have are pretty different. I mean, I guess you could say Tarmiel, uh, or like both Tarmiels are kind of similar, uh, but they are like vastly different as far as like performance goes but with the graces we have three and two of them are basically the same thing like if you use if you're using um a three six sabnak as a link on escanor it's going to be ten percent I, I i need to check i'm assuming i'm not getting lowered at all because i don't think he could be stat lowered but maybe because it's on before the battle starts even i i don't know uh, let me look really quickly. Oh, we got a Gelda team. Okay. I have been seeing a little bit more demons re uh, recently. So, even if it is happening, I'm, I'm being boosted so much because I also have Percival that I can't really tell the difference there. So, I guess, oh well, I'm not too sure. But, either way, um, yeah. I don't know. The grace is just so similar. It, it, it doesn't make much sense to me. I wish it wasn't the way it is like i kind of wish it was something a little bit more unique and interesting you know but i guess uh i guess it's just kind of oh well like no big deal uh did that did that hit him and then just do nothing the the big the, the big silver lining here is that you've never been able to uh, well i guess you have been but the ideal link for Escanor, because he already has a grace, is you want to use Roxy's uh, Unity because it gives him attack-related stats because he is a human. But Christmas Roxy is one of the best backliners that you can get for the human team currently because like they just don't have great backliners. Um, or you can just throw Percival in the back for the defense-related stats. We are doing... He's doing nothing. Literally, like, zero damage. Holy. But... Because I can now run Sabnak on him and get the same amount of attack related, if not a little bit more, because mine is 11%. Um, we're in the unique scenario where I can now run the... Uh, whatchamacallit? I can now run Sabnak on Escanor and then have Roxy in the back, which is good because now I have some passive ult control. I guess if I really need to, you know, Percival also has like frontline ult control if I can get to them there are like you know taunt teams and stuff like that like if I go up against Sabnak for example uh, Sabnak has a shield depending on the rest of the team or whatever uh, and then you know human teams once Arthur pops is passive I can only really hit Arthur with single target and everything so this isn't going to be like the best thing I've ever seen as far as like actually ult controlling the enemy team currently I mean the demon team doesn't really deal with taunts I have ran into like one red Chandler this week I think it was and he did beat me um, so I mean props to that guy but uh, for the most part I mean demon team is not super big on taunts like you, you just need to kill specific characters before they kind of like build up of course uh, and then what else is there I mean the sins team you could run like Deanne or something, but no one is doing that. Oh no. Alright, this is gonna be an apocalypse member, I feel. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Why do I get such bad matches? Uh, okay, well, I mean, 
I'm running the human team, so I am tanky. We will see how that works out for me. Uh, hmm. Hosta La Madre. I actually don't know this guy specifically. Uh, okay. He's going for Percival, which makes sense, because that'll lower defense related and everything. I'm just going to get rid of him outright. Oh, okay, he doesn't. So that's good for me. Kind of surprised. Kind of surprised he didn't go for the... Um... The kill there with Escanar. Hmm. I don't know if I can kill. I don't know if I can kill or not. Let's go for this to Mark and then just try to get rid of Melly, maybe. Melly's not really my biggest target, but I have type advantage, and getting him down a couple of characters would be huge for me. So we're just gonna try to go for it, I think. I don't actually know if I kill here. Yeah, I don't think that kills. It's pretty close, but yeah, mm, very close. Okay, well, oh, and I forgot about the commandment. The Monspeed commandment completely ruined that there. Mm. Yeah, this guy's got me beat for sure. It's funny, too, because I really, as much as I see the Sins team, I really actually don't see people utilizing the commandment on melee very often. So... It, uh, it's, it's a little surprising sometimes that, like, because really the human team is probably one of the teams that I go up against the least, uh, as far as, like, my meta goes. I don't know, like, I do see them from time to time, of course, but it's kind of few and far between. Like, I see so many more, um, whatchamacallit, I see so many more Sins teams and, you know, I've recently, of course, Unknown teams and stuff like that, that it, uh, could push for Arthur's ultimate. I think I can get rid of. Hmm. Do I even want to get rid of him though? Because oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Uh, this is gonna go very poorly. I think. Can this kill actually? Oh man, my boy, actually doing something. Um. But yeah, I typically don't go up against the human team the most. So the fact that I I guess the human team would still be considered to be like second best team, because unknowns are good. Don't get me wrong. But they are, uh, they're, they're a bit hit or miss. They're, they're, I, would, I would say when I'm using the Sab Knight team, it's probably like a 60% 60, 60 win rate or something like that. Uh, this guy definitely knows that he's, he's beat me. Good game. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I get it. You, you would want to counter the second best team like up against your own team, but it is what it is. I, it's my, completely my fault for just forgetting about the commandment in the first place. That's just something I have to be more conscious of, but whoo! 435 KCC, which I know that the Sins team has higher CC than the, the human team for sure. Uh, like, I don't know. He That's probably with him having attack, attack crit on Escanor, if I had to guess. Like, he's got way more leeway, because Apocalypse, I think, has several people with, like, C7 and, like, really high box CC and everything. I asked Gone out of curiosity, what he, what the requirements for uh, Apocalypse are, and I think he said it's 17 million box CC, which I'm close to, so I'm not, like, terribly far away from, you know, from having that, and, like, you know, but at the same time, I don't know, it's just one of those things, I guess. Um, I almost, I want to try to kill Nalfami. I should have checked if he had Tarmiel Link, I'm assuming, oh, he doesn't actually, he doesn't have it on, uh, Arthur, so that's good, because this should kill, this will kill on Nalfami, like, outright, which is really, really good, because killing Nalfami is going to stop him from being able to stance, give him a ton of... Uh, stats and stuff like that. Percival in the back, completely understandable. We will pop our Arthur passive. We pull an extra level two single target straight off top. So that's really, really good. I mean, realistically, putting the Sabnak link onto Escanor, not game changing. Having the Roxy in the back is really nice. So I will give it that. That is incredibly positive. Um, but at the end of the day, the performance just looks like you're you're running the typical Roxy Link, so it's not like vastly different, I don't think. Uh, but being able to ult control is nice. 
Healing characters off, which is very easy for Escanor to do, gains you 7% basic stats, if I'm not mistaken, per character killed. So as I'm kind of like blowing through the team, uh, I'm gaining more stats for that, which is really, really nice. Uh, see, he would have merged into an ultimate there, and then he just had to just eat the the ult loss. Uh, I have Taunt on here, so he's going to have to go for AoEs if he wants to kill my Escanor, because I have ultimate. That is incredibly positive. That completely just saved the game for me. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's got its perks, but, like I'm saying, it's not anything, like, crazy crazy, you know? Because the, the, the grace is the same. Basically, like it's not, I'm not actually losing any defense related stats. I just wish it, I, I wish it was a little bit more unique. You know what I mean? I guess it would be better for me to kill, uh, kill the Percival off before I use the AoE ultimate because he's eating some of my AoE damage, which this kills. Okay, well, oh well. I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, it's got its perks. It does. I, I, I don't know. Is it a game changer? You let me know. Because I really... I, at, on one end, I'm like, ah, this this is literally just me using Roxy Link. But at the same time, being able to use Roxy in the back is incredibly helpful. Okay, what do we got? I didn't realize how far I had fallen. Which, I, that, that Apocalypse match did also throw me off as well. Uh, because uh, that would have <laughs> definitely helped me get out of this little little uh, this little rut but it kind of just reset me back down to kind of where I was I guess it would be better to bait with this first just in case it's evasion food I don't think it is I'm pretty sure this was a bot but we're gonna do it anyway that way we can get I guess the mark on him like into the single target is the ideal scenario also so this will put him down pretty low the AoE will kill Escanor off we're gonna take a bit of damage but we're not putting any debuffs on which is a very positive thing for us uh, because Melee is his biggest DPS at this point. Like, don't get me wrong, Bond could do something, but um, Melee, Melee getting his his passive proc is like the big deal. And the fact that we don't really run anything that would give him that passive is extremely beneficial. Escanor are actually gonna die here. Yeah, okay, I mean, I, I figured the third card was going to kill him off, but the fact that he survived that actually kind of kind of nice. Um, so he's dead, unfortunate, but Arthur is also incredibly strong. So it uh, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So, let's just do this, I guess, cuz I think both of these AoEs will kill Melly. Yeah. Super strong, man. That did that much damage to Merlin. That's kind of crazy. Okay, anyways, um, I need to just go ahead and push for for Challenger. I think I'm basically done with videos this week. This will be the only PvP video, I think, that goes up on Sunday. Let me just grab one or two more tickets, because we're only at 13 minutes. These are going relatively quickly, because just the Escanar team in general is so fast. Like, I'm... S the Sabnak videos are like very all over the place because obviously she's a slower unit. She's a taunt based unit. Like she can deal some good damage, don't get me wrong, but she's not like, she's not killing a character off turn one unless you have like a unique sort of team setup or something like that. Um, and then even then, like consistently killing off characters with that team is, um, I mean, I guess Fitoria like is the ideal unit to be running with it, but obviously I've been experimenting a lot, so I haven't always been running Fitoria. And just the matches in general can be a lot slower. So with this team just being like, okay, Escanor kills that guy. And then next turn, Arthur Prox is passive. And then it's basically just GG at that point. Like, it's uh, it, it's crazy how big of a difference it's making. So, uh, unfortunately, we have to merge this. He has Zeldris Commandment, actually. Uh, ooh, that is going to be a big deal, I think. So let's... Let's go for this. Let's try to get rid of Melly, I guess, so that way we get that commandment off the board. Um, gonna take me an extra turn to proc the passive on uh, Arthur because of that, which is unfortunate. But I mean, hey, that's just that's just what you have to deal with. Like, it's just something that you have to play around because I mean, like I said earlier, makes sense that they would want to counter the set, like the the one team. 
that actually has a decent chance to get uh, a chance against the Sins team. Because realistically, I haven't ran up against Sabnak so far, and I, I've only been using the Unknown team this week with Sabnak, so I can't really say. But when I, I mean, if I go up against a good Sins team with Sabnak, and I mean they get like a good turn one hand or something like that, they can kill Sabnak turn one. Like they can just obliterate her off the field. Uh, so that's fantastic. Oh, I, f I didn't realize we got our. We got merges and stuff like that, which completely saved Arthur. That's incredible. Uh, hmm. Let's go for... What is this? That's the Tarmia link. I assume it would be better to just go ahead and get rid of the Escanor first, because he, like, I mean, the rest of the team is a support. We're going to throw the Infect on. I don't know who this is going to go on to after this. Oh, okay. Well... I level three? I figured that would have killed. I figured that would have killed like easily. But I guess not. Okay. Escanor's low. Uh I mean they can't I mean well she's double AoE, so I mean I guess they could get to him. Okay, cleansing. Arthur has passive. He's taking the or, or passive. His uh ultimate. Arthur I mean, Gother does some really good damage. Like he he is red. And I know, like, you're not really using him for damage, but he, he does he does well for himself, considering what he what he is. <laughs> you know, he's he is a pretty hard stuck support character, but he can actually deal some good damage. And that his ultimate, I think, is pretty slept on. His ultimate is actually so good; it's actually kind of insane how good it is. But getting it off is the is the problem. Like, realistically, are you going to be pushing for Arthur's ultimate when you have like Melian Escanor on the team as your DPS? Is like you you could just one shot the field with one of those characters, maybe Escanor is kind of a gamble. Uh, or you could try and uh, disable the enemy team if they don't die with uh, with Gother. So I mean, is it worth it? Probably not. Okay, another match. We're going first. It has been, dude. All of these 350 teams. I guess I mean it's good for me because I'm trying to push for Challenger, but these are uh, these are falling kind of flat. Maybe I'll just skip this one. I have like a an easy turn one. He doesn't even have a commandment on for me to uh, to have to work around. So this is like an easy turn one kill, I think, onto Melee because he doesn't have uh, Tarmia Link, and I can pop pass it on Arthur, and then it's pretty much GG. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this one because it's a bot anyway. I'm not really too worried about like watching this one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's working. It's doing good. All right, what do we got? We are going first. Okay, 395 makes me think that it's actually a player, so we'll see. I, I got a, another pretty good turn one hand, I think, so let's go ahead and mark single target. I don't tech, I don't like actually like using the uh, the AOE second, but I feel like half the time like it doesn't actually matter what order I'm using the cards in. My God, sometimes I just like it really. Askin really is just a monster, like. Towards the end of his festival, I was getting pretty bored of him, let's be honest. Because it was Escanor, he comes out, you are Sin's team everywhere. I like the human team more personally, and I did see some human teams from time to time. Uh, but for the most part, like as soon as he came out, people were like, okay, he's really good, Melly's really good, they're together on the you are Sin's team, we're unstoppable. Uh, and then half anniversary banner comes out it's percival who makes the human team stronger so every other team in the game is basically just power crept at that point you're basically going to be running sins team or human team in this meta like there's <laughs> there's really no other no other team worth running uh and then now you have the option to run the the unknown team but i mean I've gotten several comments about it over the past couple of days of people still being very skeptical uh, on like whether or not they want to summon for Sabnak, and I really don't think it's worth it at the end of the day. Like if you if you've already summoned for Escanor, like you, you know the Sins team is just so strong. Like Sins team's crazy strong. Humans are, are crazy strong, and I mean for the most part, I I think you have a much better chance at a higher win rate with these teams than taking the gamble with the unknown team. I personally like running the un unknown team a little bit because it's a go second kind of team. I like that personally because there's no there's no fear of just wasting your food. Like if you use CC food and you get out CC'd, 
there was no point in bringing CC food in the first place. I do love that about the, the Unknown team. Typically, they are very good at going second and still being able to win. Uh, but at the end of the day, it uh, it's kind of, you know, it's just more of a gamble. Because, I mean, these teams are so strong. Like, there there's a real high likelihood they're going to kill somebody off turn one. Um, you know, this the Unknown team... They have a lot of stat boosting potential, but at the moment, oof, this feels like a huge waste onto that now for me. Um, at the moment, I feel like it's just, yeah, like not really great. Because I mean, Nana, she's boosting a lot from the back. Sabnak boosts her own defense related or, or her own basic stats whenever she uses her first like delusion card. But, like, unless you're using... I've used Halloween Merlin. She's a stat booster. I haven't used Freyr. Freyr could potentially be a, an interesting character. But I feel like most of the time if you're running him, it's mainly for, uh, like, possibly stance canceling. He increases basic stats, but he's also trying to boost your likelihood or, or your damage on, like, single targets. And Sabnak is double AoE, so it doesn't even really make much sense to even try him, to be fair. Unless you were just trying to run Sabnak, Freyr, and then another single target attack character, which, who knows? Who, I don't know. I don't know what... I would have to look around through the roster... Um, but uh, a lot of the unknown race are pretty outdated, kind of like the human team in the sense that, like, the human team is pretty, pretty samey. Like, if you see a human team, there's a couple of options that could be different, but most of them are, like, outdated characters that really can't hold their own today. Um, and the unknown team kind of suffers from that as well, because most of the teams that you're, or most of the characters that come out for the unknown team are Merlins, maybe Gother. Uh, unfortunately, the new Gother isn't built for the Unknown team. Like, don't get me wrong. Rank up incredibly strong. But uh, he's not stat boosting or anything for, for the team, which kind of sucks. I, re I really wish he would have, like, been flexible for two teams. Kind of like Escanor is with humans and sins. But I digress. Um, I don't know. It just... A lot of those collab characters are the ones that come out for the, for the, uh, the Unknowns. And the collab characters can be... One, very hit or miss, and two, can fall off pretty quickly. Fitoria is, like, really, really good, and that's the only reason I think that she's still holding her own, because we used Glass yesterday, I think it was, when that video came out. Pretty miserable. <laughs> like, it was okay, and it could work, but it was not consistent, so... Either way, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, I think I'm going to call it there. I guess I can just grind the rest of these matches uh, just as the day goes on and I get stamina back so I don't waste too many uh, friendship coins or anything. But uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how your first week with Sabnak has gone. Uh, even if you haven't summoned for her, uh, let me know like, you know, if you've gone up against Sabnak, how has uh, how has things been? Because i seen one comment saying, like, these people don't understand how to fight Sabnak, so like once once they figure it out, it's basically over, and Sabnak won't win any games. I don't know that that's necessarily true, but um, I don't know. She's she's definitely not as good as Escanor by far, and so the teams that Escanor can be ran with are just way stronger than the unknown team, I think. So, either way. Uh, still a fun team to use. I like Sabnak. Uh, there's a couple of other characters that I still want to try with her, so I'll probably mess around with those this coming week, because we're going to be kind of chilling. Uh, and uh, I think all we're getting is Labyrinth, so either way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys tomorrow.